You see every scene that people, you see in every YouTube, almost everybody picks up the cup, drinks it and puts it down and says, oh, hey, I've not seen you there. Yeah, hopefully this is not the one. Hey guys, you may ask, why have I disappeared? And the truth is, I've just been busy with life. Um, my priority in life has been so much high with taking care of the little one and uh, teaching her new skills that it's overtaking my lifestyle. And I've just been focusing on what to do with her skills. So i am now got a little spare time, so I'm kicking it back. And um, season 2020 is now open, so what I want to focus on is comparing Angular versus React. I think it's a big market, and I think learning one of those languages is very important for you. So assume you're watching this because you're thinking, well, someone has asked me, what should I do, build it in React or Angular? Or someone in your interview question said, what's the difference? You're actually into the right channel. You're actually joined the right channel, I believe. So you may be asking why you should be watching this channel. And to be honest, I've been working with Angular for the past six years. I've built from small complex uh, applications to very huge, um, which are scalable and with, with multiple teams, multi-currencies, multi-languages. And I think I can bring that to the table. So I think now I've done over two, two and a half years of React. And I've built from small little apps to complex apps. But the difference in React and in Angular, it was much more easier for me to manage themes in Angular than in React, to be honest. But it's still amazing framework or amazing library, as they call it on, on, uh, on the market, uh, to use in your work. I think it's very easy to use if you know JavaScript very strongly. So what to expect from 2020? Well, as I mentioned before, I'm going to create a series of these videos comparing Angular and React. And I also want to start off initializing of how do you start these both applications? How do you build them? How do you add state to them? How does the parent and child component work? What's the difference in the more functional programming in React to versus to more class-based on uh, TypeScript Angular framework? And then you can understand these both languages and you can compare to yourself and say, okay, I'm more passionate about this language, I'll move into this. Bear in mind, guys, if you want to go into React, really need to know the basics of JavaScript and understand how it works. I think it's also good for Angular, but I think for Angular is very good is when you, you go into it with a very fresh mind, knowing a little bit of JavaScript, and you can almost get around with it. Um, I think because of the community support and because of the documentation line, you have a lot of examples and a lot of information for you to test and play around and get the grasp of, of actually building a complex application. And the next thing is, what's going to be different about 2019 and 2020? Well, last year my focus was to grasp or to understand um, how to do these videos, you know, how to edit them and how to publish the thing and actually how to learn to speak in a structured and explain my thought through process. And I'm still doing this, I'm still learning, so hence why 2020 is here. But in these videos, I want to add more texture, so I want to have more creativity around them, I want to give them a little bit more comedy, comic stylish, some more, I wanted to give it a little bit more taste to these videos. And um, add these little maybe breaks into them so a user can more understand and revise the information. So I'm really excited because I've got a lot on my plate and I want to really see how far I get to these videos. Um, I think last video I published is maybe four or five months ago. Um, now I'm going to be publishing maybe, now I'm going to be publishing videos every week, once or twice a week. And hopefully this grows into a really good season, a very strong material. And now the only way I can know if I'm doing it right or wrong is from your guys' feedbacks. So really appreciate if I get any feedback from you. It, it, it's a little bit... So, a feedback to a, a creator allows him to understand the information of how to group things, even if it's very brutal, honest information. If brutal, I believe brutal information may hurt, but it's better to get hurt at the beginning of the season than at the end of the season, understanding that your videos are not that your videos are not rightly created. And so that's what happened in 2019. I created those videos and end, and then once I got all the feedback, I was like, oh, I hoped I could have. I hope I could have pulled all that information at the beginning of the first video and learned earlier, but you know, it's a progress. And guys, don't forget to like and share these videos. Uh, this really helps for me and grow the channel. So I'll see you in the next series. I'm Chris, your JavaScript buddy. Bye-bye.